What's going on guys? Sean got hair back with another video. Guys, you know we're quarantined right now, so I can't cut any hair. I don't have any haircutting content. But a few of you guys asked me what I drive when you guys wanted to see the Beamer. So guys, it's spring here in Kentucky. It's about 75 degrees today. We're gonna clean it up. I got a surprise at the end if you guys stay tuned and uh, let you guys check out this car. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. I promise it'll be worth it. All right, guys, so we got two wash mitts. I think I'm gonna need a helper for this. So I'm gonna get my wife and introduce it to you guys and see if we can get her to help wash the car. All right, guys, so this is my wife to be. We're getting married in August. You guys leave a comment down below. She is still working at the hospital right now, so I'm non essential and she's essential. So that's right. Uh, she's essential in helping wash this car, so we'll get to <laughs> it. guys I was driving a 2008 Honda Civic before this and uh, it was a nice car it was something you know I've always been into cars um, but once I started to own the shop uh, I, I wanted this kind of as a, a means to encourage me to work to continue to work hard uh, and it was kind of a reward to myself but also um, I always park it right out front of the shop so while I'm cutting I can look up I can see it out there uh, just kind of a reminder that that hard work pays off and you can get uh, nice things and things that you want. Um, it's a nice car. It's uh, it's pretty fast. It's a it's a factory V8, like 350 horsepower ish. Um, fastest car I've ever had. It's got some super cool features. Um, BMW really is the driving machine. So um, the ultimate driving machine. So, but yeah, guys, I got this uh, about almost three years ago. In August, it'll be three years. Uh, I am actually looking at a four door newer M3. Uh, so this may be for sale at some point. Uh, but this is a nice, uh, it's a nice car. Like I said, it kind of motivates me to stay working hard uh, and kind of keep up the keep up the hard work and all the effort. Um, and I look out and see this, and it reminds me, you know, that that's what it takes to have nice things. Um, but it can be accomplished. Uh, so hopefully this this kind of encourages you guys to go out and chase after, uh, you know, go after your dream, work hard, and get the things that you want. Um, I'm gonna show you guys around the car, and then uh, we'll get to the finished uh, finished look. And I uh, hope you guys stick around. You guys are gonna love it. All right guys, I'm gonna show you the car a little bit before we get into the surprise. We'll do that next. But uh, a lot of you guys had some questions about the car and what it is, so I'm gonna show you guys around it. Uh, it is a E92 2008 M3. It's a four liter V8. It's the last V8 model that they made. Uh, most of them now are turbo six cylinders, especially the M's. Uh, so it is a, a naturally aspirated V8. I have an AFE power short rim intake. I did replace the original grills with the black kidney grills uh, and also my side markers have been smoked so we got the black on black i also replaced the side marker lights these originally were chrome so was the grill uh, something cool i like guys when i lock the car the mirrors fold in that's something really cool i remember seeing that years ago and uh thought that was super cool so uh, we've done 15 percent tint all around 
I did red out the tail lights. You guys can see, and we do have a custom exhaust, custom strike pipe exhaust with some burnt titanium tips. I'm gonna start it up here in a little bit. The blacked out M3 badge. These are the factory 19 inch wheels. I'm not gonna show you guys anything yet, but those are coming off and we're gonna get to that in a second. So also guys, I've installed this matte black clutch on top of the window strip and it does have a carbon fiber roof from the factory. Uh, and then this is wrapped with matte carbon fiber. I don't like it, but I, I, I hand washed it guys and you see all this dust stuck to it. So I'm gonna wait till it dries and then try to get that off. But anyway, guys. All right guys, so it's pretty much factory on the inside. I do have a uh, M style uh, steering wheel cover. My, my steering wheel was showing some wear and tear. So I've changed that out. I have WeatherTech floor mats to go down here, but they are out right now. We just cleaned them. Uh, mostly uh, stock in here, guys. I have a wireless charger. I did, as soon as I got it, I grabbed this. I took a hacksaw, cut the shifter off, and we made it a short shifter. Uh, but basically stock, this carbon fiber trim is factory. Uh, so leather seats, uh, heated seats, leather seats. You guys see the back seat, it does have a nice sound system. Uh, the factory sound system, got two subs, one under each seat. Uh, but this is it, guys. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get to work on this thing, do a little transformation for the summer look, and uh, Pull it out and you guys can check it out. Drop it off and have somebody do it. I'll just pay somebody to do it. I have broken three of these adapters. I just bought a new one to replenish my uh, tool setup. And I've been to the parts store for the third time. Uh, lug nut tool so it has teeth on the inside 
And as you unscrew it, it actually latches onto the lug nut and takes it off. We're about to try this out. If it doesn't work, then this wheel's not coming off. It's too big. we screwed. I guess I can't get it off. Guys, we're at the muffler shop. This is my guy that always works on all my cars. And my favorite thing about him, he doesn't take no for an answer. He says, I'll figure it out. So we're about to see if he can figure it out. Hope we'll get this thing off. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the wheel color. And uh, I just wanted to bring you guys some extra content. This is something I was working on, so I thought I would do it for you guys. Um, a lot of trouble today, but we got it done, guys. You just got to uh, figure out the options, right? Make it happen. So let me know what you guys thought. Give me a thumbs up on this video. We will be back to some haircutting content here soon. I'm going to do a detailed uh, sanitizing your clippers and how to take them apart uh, and clean them up. But anyways, guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you subscribe, but we're going to hit 2,500 soon. I'm going to keep at it through this pandemic. But anyway, let's get up out of here. my channel make sure you click this link right here if you want to check out some more content from me check out this video right here appreciate it